SEC 401 can be intimidating for anyone in spite of being an open book. And here's how I aced the test and became a SANS mentor instructor. The first question is, should I take the course? The answer to that is yes, if you can afford it. Taking the course allows you to be exposed to additional information and gain additional knowledge in context that you wouldn't otherwise have gained by choosing the self-paced option. Also, the connections you make in the course can be valuable in current and future job opportunities. What if I can't afford the $8,275? dollar course fees of a solution ebay so there are always students selling their sans books for about 250 to a thousand dollars i would suggest that you verify that it is the current version or the version that's relevant to the test that you're actually going to be taking once you've secured your course materials you want to begin working through the books in sequential order and you want to build a comprehensive index of every significant word phrase and acronym the purpose of the index is to be able to quickly like find any topic in a book within seconds and here's my actual SANS SEC 401 index for you to reference. I use four columns. I have a keyword, book, page, and then relevant comments. But I suggest that you use the comment section sparingly because you don't have very much time with the index. As you can see, I don't have very many comments in this section, but sometimes you may need to add just a note here and there. Regarding the columns, keywords are relevant words, topic, phrase, acronyms, file paths, or commands. So anything that you may encounter on a test, these should be included in the keyword section. The book section of the spreadsheet designates which book the keyword is located in and of course the page is the page of that specific book that the keyword is located in and then finally comments use that just if something really required clarification from the time that you register for the certification you have four months to complete it so start studying immediately do not procrastinate like i did i did all my preparation for the test in two weeks and i still aced it which is good but i don't recommend it that could have gone terribly bad but that's why i'm giving you this technique because this is what i use to be able to cram at the last minute to be able to ace the test. Also, the cost of the test is now $949. It was only $700, which is still a lot, but that's still $200 less than it is now. So use that as motivation to stay locked in and continue working through the test. You're going to need to read through each book and continue building your index. Once you've built the complete index, you want to sort that by keyword, then book, and then number. Because some topics, they will be in multiple books. And if that's the case, you want to make sure that you can reference those because the answer may not necessarily be in the first book or the second might be in the third book. But once the index is complete, you want to test it. So I strongly recommend that you purchase the practice test. I did use them a lot and go through it with your index because you want to test the effectiveness of your index. I took my practice test twice and then tested my index and I was able to kind of score about 80 ish the first time. But then when taking the test the second time, a lot of the answers from reference to my index the first time I actually remember it. So now I was able to go through the second time taking the test and do it pretty quickly. And I think I scored a 90. And once you get to the point where you can score A or 90 on the test, you're gonna be pretty close to ready to go to take the certification. When you get ready to take the test, this is test day, arrive at the facility. I say two hours early, you may wanna get there earlier. You need to make sure that your identification matches the information that you put it. There's name, first name, middle name, last name, address. Everything needs to match your current registration. So be careful when you put that in. You're gonna be asked to lock up your personal items. You can only take in your index and book. That's the way it was when I was there. It may have changed a little bit. Your phone, you will not have access to your phone, obviously. And so you wanna go ahead and use the bathroom immediately plan to take breaks about 2.5 to 3 hours in once testing is begun you have like roughly 1.5 minutes per question sometimes that can get up to 2 to 2.6 minutes based on my estimate but i strongly suggest you try to answer each question within about 1.5 faster answers can put you ahead of schedule but you can't afford to take time to complete ones that you struggle with if you don't know an answer flag it as soon as possible and don't take 1.5 minutes on something that you're not going to answer the second thing is ask for a second chair you want to take your books sit your books off to the side in that chair and so you want to read through your index find it instantly and once again you're being mindful of time on every question 1.5 minutes is your goal locate the phrase and index then grab the book and i had an order i stacked my books in i would just kind of cycle through them really fast to make sure i could get to them because your books can get out of order occasionally and then you'll be spending time trying to figure out which book six book five so you need to kind of have a system where you can cycle through them real fast and then at the 2.5 to 3 hour mark go take your restroom break and then you want to relax, clear your mind. I literally just sat there on a couch that was staring outside of the university window where I took the test. I just looked and stared and breathed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it. And so then once you're finished with that, about 15 minutes, I think is what your break time is. Be prepared to stay locked in for the next 2.5 to, to whatever time you have left over. You'll receive your score immediately after you take the test. From this point, good luck and post any questions you may have and I'll answer those questions. Thanks for watching.